Hey, what's going on guys? GBU back here, and today in this video, I'm back in Forza Horizon 4. I will hopefully be getting Forza Horizon 5 soon, uh, and trying some of that stuff out. I haven't gotten it yet, but uh, hopefully soon. Uh, but for now, I'm back with another vehicle showcase in Forza Horizon 4. This is car has pretty much everything I love to see in a car, and uh, it is really quite awesome. So this car I have right here is a 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Coupe. And first thing that I love seeing with cars, especially like this style, I love seeing the cab position further back. So like there's a long front end like that. I just love that look. It just looks awesome. Another thing is the reverse opening hood. Look at that engine. That is awesome. Another thing that's just a neat little detail is the singular uh, mirror right here on the driver's side pretty awesome I mean you don't really see that nowadays because I mean you can't really do that but I, it just kind of adds a neat little look to the car and it's really only seen on older cars like around the 50s plus the front end looks really nice I mean you got larger headlight with a little smaller headlight below you got a big chrome front bumper and then the giant Mercedes emblem on the middle of the grille you also got the Mercedes emblem right on the hubcaps of the, t of the wheels. You got these big side vents with chrome, uh, little chrome brackets almost going over it. And then another big chrome rear bumper. Quite amazing. It looks really awesome. This is this is one all, of course one. This is like one of my favorite Mercedes cars ever. Like this thing is a, this is a really awesome car. Trunk here. Got your spare tire in the back, and I believe that's uh, the gas cap right there. And you got some extra tools down in here just for any type of like minor maintenance and stuff. If you had to work on your car a little bit. And then we already looked at the engine, but I'm gonna look at it one more time just from this side. Look at that. I actually don't know the engine specs on this, so I'm gonna look that up just real quick. 1940. 54 Mercedes 300 SL Coupe engine. All right, let's see here. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. So this is, uh, it's got. It's a 182.8 uh, cubic inch uh, M198 straight six engine. So that's a straight six. I'd... Wait, is it a straight six? Oh, yeah, because there's a valve cover over there. I'm going to go on this side real quick. So this is just your intake manifold right here, and then here's the valve cover. So it's an inline six just kind of turned on its side a little bit at almost like a 45 degree angle. Okay. That makes more sense. All right. That's just another one of the features is the uh, reverse opening hood. Love that style. And then, of course, another thing that I love seeing on cars like this, the gullwing doors. So let's check out the passenger side real quick just to kind of get a view for that. It just says 300 SL right here on the, on the dash on the uh, passenger side. A lot of chrome in here, too. Looks absolutely awesome. I wish there was still chrome in a lot in cars. Yeah, there's your uh, rear view mirror right there, right just on the center of the dash. Don't really see that nowadays. And you also have a clock right here on the middle of the dash, kind of like just above the center console. Then right there, you got what looks like a four-speed manual transmission. Um, man, this is just a beautiful car. I'm gonna hop out real quick and uh, just look to the to the driver's side. There's just so many little details that I love about this car. Alright, let's just close that up, because after this we're going to take it for a drive. So, on this side you got your big giant steering wheel. You've got um, oil gauge, water gauge. You've got your fuel gauge. And then Is it an oil pressure gauge? I think? I'm not 100% sure your tachometer over here, speedometer over here, goes all the way up to 180, 
and then up to 7,000 RPMs. Look for the red lines at six though. Uh, of course, no back seat. This is a coupe, it literally says in the name. Um, let's see, there's the, uh, the extent of how the windows open right here. You undo this little latch and then this kind of slides open, like just opens up. That's pretty much the extent of opening the windows in this car. I mean, that's just, of course, because the gullwing doors. Cars with gullwing doors, just they don't have the mobility, like, to have a full window in there. That's why you see, like, especially with the DeLorean, how they have just a little tiny window at the, at, like, opening at the bottom of the window that you can open. Just because the gullwing doors, you can't open a window all the way. I'm pretty sure, okay, so there's your e-brake down there, of course, with that little uh, yellow button. And then, but I'm pretty sure that big yellow pet, uh, not yellow, uh, the big circular pedal right there. Pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but uh, that might be the high beams. Because, of course, you got your gas, brake, clutch. I feel like that might be high beams, because I know there were cars that had a high beam foot switch on the left side of uh, the pedal setup. Just a little button on the left side of the pedal setup that would used to activate the high beams but don't quote me on that I'm not a hundred percent sure so uh, I'm assuming that uh, let's see how this thing sounds when I start it up through uh, see how it shows up okay okay I was looking over at OBS just seeing if the sound would if it would catch the sound for uh, when I started up the car this thing sounds amazing Dang, I love that sound. Alright, let's take this thing out on the road, see what it's got. Forts of on live will begin shortly. Good luck. Alright, gotta make this kind of snappy because there's actually a Forza on live event happening soon, and I would love to partake in that because I want to uh, run a car that's on a Forzathon shop. Okay, if you are watching this and you have like 600 Forzathon points. I'm just going to go a little off topic real quick. There is currently a Bentley Turbo R on the Forza, uh, on the Forza-thon shop. There's also a 2004 Maserati MC12 Forza edition, another really awesome car. Um, so, I mean, pick whichever one you want. I'm going for this one right here. So, hopefully I can get that one. All right, but let's see what this thing's got. I also love the brush chrome. One thing I love about Forza is that all the mirrors in the cars are functional. It's awesome. Because like if you play something like BMNG, the mirrors are not functional. Which is unfortunate, but I mean BMNG is uh, gets down into like more detail when it comes to customizing cars and stuff, so I mean there's a lot more, there's a higher part now to just kind of move forward to have working years when you got a million other things going on. So it kind of makes sense. This thing handles pretty well, it's really quick. This car will turn heads for sure, like if somebody sees this stuff. Stop and just kind of watch this go past. Oh, there's Forza Thon event starts at two. At the time of filming this, like at the very moment, it's 1:52 p.m. So, Forza Thon. Starts at two, so I just uh, I got I got pushed. I'm gonna take this thing onto the highway real quick and just see what kind of speed this thing's got, just see how, how well it handles, how well the corners and stuff. I have pretty high hopes for this, just on what I've seen so far. I mean, it handles pretty well, like better than I thought it would, for, like such an old car. See what this thing's got. Cause there's a, there's a straightaway through this uh, tunnel. There's a second little tunnel. Just a straight shot in the down the road. I can just. That's a good thing to do. I'm going 
200 miles an hour right now in a car from 1950. Looks like a top side around 215. barely made it around that turn. I have very few cars that can make it around that turn going full speed. I was going full speed on this one, but if I was, I don't think it would have made it. Because it just barely made it, and I was going like 140, 140-ish. This thing's a lot quicker than I thought it would be. It handles nicely. This also is, in, one of my opinion, in my opinion, one of the best sounding cars in the game, I must say. Close time live event starts. Alright, I'm just going to okay, set that route real quick. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to finish the video off there. Um, I mean, hope you guys enjoyed. All around, I say this is a great car. I mean, it's got a lot of the stuff that I look for in a car. Just, just some of the little details that I like to see in the classic luxury vehicles. Even modern luxury vehicle stuff I love to see. Uh, just in the fact that, I mean, it's got the bowling doors, got the reverse opening hood, uh, it's got a straight six engine, plus it's got a lot of chrome on it, and then the brush chrome style paint job just looks awesome. All around, solid car, I like this thing. Quite a beautiful luxury vehicle. I don't remember exactly how much I got this one for, but I'm sure you can find them on the auction house, or fairly common on the auction house. Quite an awesome car, though, so I mean... I'd recommend it. I'd, I'd say it's an all-around solid car. I'm sure I'm just trying to get that here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. It didn't quite make it. That's unfortunate. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more Forza content, Please let me know uh, if this video. Um, okay, if you are seeing this video and uh, you want me to do, want me to get Forza Horizon 5, leave a like, and I will know that you want to see Forza Horizon 5 content. I actually really want to get Forza Horizon 5. It looks pretty awesome from what I've seen. I'll do a review on that, just see how it is, and uh, do some more videos on that. Maybe more car videos on that. That doesn't mean I'm going to completely stop Forza 4 content because, I mean, this game is a lot of fun as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.